This place is much quieter on a Saturday morning, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's too loud in the evenings, I think. Mm. Although I still like it. And nowhere has coffee like this. It's the best coffee in town. You say that every time. Do I? Yes, you do. Speaking of which, let's order some. Um, two coffees, please, and, and a pastry? Chocolate croissant. And uh, one of those tasty muffins made with real butter, and not one of those fat-free things. <laughs> I had some exciting news from Aunt Judy the other day. Aunt Judy, uh, the American one, who married your Uncle Tom. Yes, that's the one. I only have three aunts. Okay, okay, sorry. I get them muddled up sometimes. What's Aunt Judy up to? Is she flying around the world again? Something like that. She's actually joined the Peace Corps as a volunteer nurse. Wow, good for her. How old is she now? She's 80 this year. Right. Where is she going exactly? Samoa. How exciting. It's very adventurous of her. I'm quite surprised the Peace Corps allowed it. Well, she's amazingly fit for her age. She swims every day and runs a marathon every year. Oh, goodness. I hope I'm in such good shape when I'm 80. <laughs> I hope I am too, but since I don't do much exercise, it's not very likely. Well, I don't do very much either. We'd better get in training if you want to be like your Aunt Judy. Yeah, she's great. I love the way she takes on new challenges. She's done so many different things. Lived in different countries, trained as a nurse, had a farm, learnt to fly. Yes. She's really inspiring. Will you be speaking to her again soon? Yeah, I think so. Well, please tell her I wish her all the very best. I will. I hope all goes really well for her over there. Yes, me too. Here's to Judy and her new adventure in Samoa. May she have a wonderful time, and may we all live life as fully as she does. And make sure to ask her what a secret to a long life is. Perhaps not eating those muffins, Jerome. <laughs>